We've got new teams, much easier teams. We're going to get lots of damage. We're on the live server. The live server gives us 15% less damage taken, plus we have all the other world buffs. We didn't have these buffs, and we didn't have that less damage taken on the test server, so it was much harder. So any video you watch from a few days ago where I'm using two support, we don't necessarily have to use two support anymore. We have fur bath with four ice blast, and we're going to get 150 million. It's a lot of damage. We're just fur bath keeping everybody alive. And there's a lot of heroes, a lot of legendaries, a lot of epics that can keep your whole entire team alive. And even Quirion, I bet, with the gatekeeper staff, can keep your whole entire team alive. Just him by himself. I'm going to need to try that out tomorrow. We're going to do a big live stream. We've got all these teams over here on Discord. There's a team on Discord that I saw while we were live streaming that was this team right here with two rares. Not the two legendaries I have. Two rares and got 83 million. With Percival, that's a rare that, uh, that buffs all burns to do 20% additional attack. And then you put in the other goblin that's a rare to put up a whole bunch of burns. Once you have 10 burns, which is max, this guy, Aratius, is going to do so much damage. Crazy amount of damage. And then Quirion and Ardrith are really easy to use. I'm going to bring in a different healer, probably Snarl or someone like that and bring in even another burn hero. All day on stream, we were working on two support teams, which you still might need to do. It just depends on what you're bringing in and how strong your guys are. Two support teams aren't bad, but the difference is 102 million where I'm bringing in two support, and then I go to Ice Blast, and it goes up to 151 million. Now that's because Ice Blast is really strong. These people are really feeding Girthin to do more damage. It's not always the same. Sometimes you could come in here and say, I put in another burn person from here to here, and we're only looking at a difference of 101 to 110. It's not a huge increase, but it really, it just depends on what you're bringing in. Will that next person you bring in really bring the damage? Usually not, because you've already got the strongest damage dealers in there. It really just depends. If you're doing it on a Shaltar team, where any more Dauntless that we get to hit will be great to do after Shaltar, because he's just an absolute beast, then yes, this team is gonna bring in a lot more damage, but I can't get her to solo heal yet. I've tried it and it's just not worked out yet. So we'll, we'll keep working on it. We will keep working on it. Let's talk about the other heroes that can solo heal. And there are a lot. Join our discord. You'll have all the information over there. I think Chrysos can solo heal very easily because he's going to heal you. He's going to shield you. When those shields get removed, you get healed. This guy can do decreased attack as well. Should be no issues at all. Elminster's not going to be able to do it. He has no healing, and you're going to take damage, so that won't work. Sonaro is going to be an easy solo heal for your whole entire team. If I miss anybody, let me know down below for sure because I don't have all these heroes, so it's kind of hard to see them. If Furbath can solo heal, I'm sure Oga can solo heal, and he can even get you a buff up at 30.5 if you need to have that up. We can't do it with Zephy. Zephy actually doesn't do healing. It's just shielding. It's stopping you from dying. It's not going to keep your team alive by herself. We have Gillian, which I already know. I didn't miss her yet. We have Acelia we can use. We have Gillian we can use right here. Rose isn't going to be able to solo heal. Mithrasi can solo heal because there's so much healing going on on this battle skill. And then we even get buffs right here. If this can't do it because she can only do shielding, then the shields aren't even that good. So obviously she's not going to solo heal your team. I don't think Felosia can do it either, even though she's getting shields on the battle skill plus increased defense and then shields again. If we're not getting healing, it's just eventually you're going to go down and die. We got to have somebody like Finya. Finya can do it. She can solo heal your whole entire team. And there might be somebody else I missed, so let me know. Let's go down to the epics because there are some really nice epics here, like Furbath that can solo heal along with this guy. He should be able to solo heal your team. And if you're having issues, if they're just barely falling over, give them a little bit more defense or go back to the two support. See what you get with that two support. Give yourself a little bit more defense and see what you get with a four DPS. It just really matters what that fourth DPS is. Cypheris would be able to do it if she didn't kill herself all the time. She is constantly killing her own HP. If we put her in the Mona Lisa set, every time she does her, bat or her ultimate, She'll heal somebody that's lowest. She's going to be lowest. I just have a feeling she's going to die. But I'm going to try her on stream tomorrow. I'll put her in Mona Lisa. We'll give her with a lot of healing. And we'll just see what she can do. I know she'll keep everybody else alive. But will she die herself? I have a feeling she might. People are able to get Nathaniel to solo heal. And I haven't been able to do it yet. I even used the same gear that they had on. And the same timing they had on for Nathaniel. And my Nathaniel can't solo heal. And I'm going to tell you why. 
I do not have a Moonlight Mantle chess piece. That chess piece, Enlightenment chess piece, Moonlight Mantle. I have a Moonlight Mantle. Oh, I'm not where I can put gear on. I have lots of Moonlight Mantle chess piece. That's 50% chance to get 50% additional healing and 50% additional shielding. All I have is a defense percentage chess piece and Moonlight Mantle and then like 50 other Moonlight Mantles, but no Enlightenment. That could be what's holding me back. Very well could be. So you guys try that out. I'll get some more information out to you. If you want to play her with Nathaniel, that's an easy team I've seen a lot of people do. Garius, obviously with the Gatekeeper staff, easy solo heal. And I think Quarion can solo heal for you as well. I'll get all this information on a spreadsheet tomorrow when I test out all these solo heal teams. All my six teams doing over 100 million, a lot of them at 150 million. And I don't have any exclusives in there doing that. So that's pretty good without exclusive heroes. You're going to see people with, obviously, Rook, Feloja, Nashinko, all those other ones that are exclusive, especially if they have their exclusive artifact, do a lot more damage than that. But I think we're going to be able to do fairly well against all those teams, except for Rook teams, because he's just killing it still. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate your love and support. I will see you all in a video soon.